At the moment, I think he wants to be a superhero. We asked him the other day and he said he wants to be a superhero. We said, do you want to be Superman? He said, no, I want to be Super Ollie. When he walks into a room, I think everyone turns around and follows him. There's just something about him. Ollie has something called fibular hemimelia, and this is a really rare condition, so it's one in 40,000 births. We found out about Ollie's condition in gestation, so at the 12-week scan, and it was, a, it was a big shock to us. I don't think anyone goes into that thinking that your baby's not going to have 10 fingers and 10 toes. Yeah, it was, it was pretty tough. They talked about club foot and they talked about limb lengthening and they talked about amputation, all of which was very confronting. He was born with a foot which wasn't functional and so at 18 months they decided to amputate that foot because he would have a better life without that foot and be much more functional without it. On balance all of our research kind of told us that uh, that limb lengthening would be maybe one to two surgeries per year, every year till he was about 18, maybe 21. Uh, very painful in a, in a um, kind of a frame, a, a wire frame for maybe up to five, six months of the year. So quite limiting. Uh, and at the end of it, he may still need an amputation anyway. Um, and the alternative was to amputate through his foot and get a prosthetic and then he'd grow up and That'd be it, and so uh, really tough decision to make. Um, and we, we agonised over it, but at the end of the day, our job as parents is to do the best for our kids with the information that we had at the time. Andrew had fears that he would never be able to play footy or climb a tree. Whoa! Every six months or every 12 months he comes to our clinic and there's an orthopaedic surgeon, there's a physiotherapist, occupational therapist, social worker and myself. And we look after Ollie as a team and that's probably the best part about the Children's Hospital because he's seen by a really broad range of people and any of his goals, any of his dreams, anything like that, we try to help him to achieve those. The things that I would have thought would stop him or hold him back, he just runs headfirst into and I think that's going to be his life. He's just going to run headfirst into everything. <laughs> He's very able and very determined. Definitely won't give up. This will be his fourth prosthetic leg and he's been growing incredibly fast as children do at this age. And he'll continue to need legs all the way through till he turns 18. There's a strength in him that I haven't seen in anyone else before and it inspires me. I think it makes me a stronger person and hopefully a better person.